Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade English, week number 8 and day number 5. Uh, today's class and lesson is going to be about listening and verbal training, as always, on day number 5. That's what we do in this curriculum. And the whole idea is to give you an opportunity to practice how to be a good listener and potentially be a good speaker as well because lots of times if you are a good listener you are going to be a good speaker as well now what do we do how do we do that well the way we are going to do that is to observe is to observe punctuation marks in sentences so you are going to see a punctuation mark over here called semicolon you are going to see another one over here which is a comma you are going to see another one over here which is a period now those punctuation marks are there for a reason. The, the reason they are there is to show the listener or let the listener know that I am in the middle of my sentence or maybe I'm done with my sentence right now. And if I'm in the middle of my sentence, please do not interrupt. You know, you want to wait, take your turns to say whatever you want to say. But lots of people do not really realize that because they've not been through that training. Well, that's the reason you're going through that training. And in addition to that, we want to make sure that you get the Word of God on your mind while you are learning English principles. Well, how do we do that? We are going to read a scripture to you while you're learning English principles. All right. So the format is I am going to read this uh, passage of scripture and observe the rules of English with some kind of uh, fluctuation of my peaches to let you know that if somebody's in the middle of their sentences this is potentially the way their peach level is going to be in the middle of their sentences and then your part is going to be you are going to repeat after me and then you are going to try to memorize the scriptures and try to um, learn something from it alright so why don't you listen to me right now as I read this alright Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 2 it says be completely humble and gentle be patient, bearing with one another in love. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 2. I'm going to do it again. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 2. Did you see that my pitch went up a little bit, the tone of my voice, it went up a little bit when I was in the middle of my sentence, right after that semicolon, and then right after the comma, the same thing happened. But then when I finished my sentence, uh, right over there, the full stop, the, the, the period as aspect of it, my pitch dropped a little bit. So let's go ahead and you repeat it right, right after me. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 2. Alright, one more time. Let's do it together. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 2. Alright, so did you see how that worked out together? So when people hear your tone is raised up a little bit, they're going to say, well, he's, he's still in the middle of his sentence. Let, let's not interrupt just yet. And when your tone drops, that's when they are going to make their point. In that way, if you practice this way, you're going to be a good listener and potentially you are going to be a good speaker as well. All right. So that's what I've got for you today, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me. Moms and dads, you're welcome to create exercises around what you've learned with your child today. Until next time, remember God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born.